Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Horror Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Gersh, and this week we are doing another movie review. This is Happy Death Day to You. And it's the sequel to Happy Death Day. <laughs> the PG-13 horror film produced by Blumhouse Pictures. This one is also PG as well. Uh, the film was written and directed by Christopher Landon and came out in 2019. Uh, it also stars Jessica Roth once again as Tree Geldman, uh, Israel Bussard in the role of Carter Davis, uh, Fai Vu in the role of Ryan Fan. Uh, he has a bigger role in this one, I would say. Uh, and Rachel Matthews uh, returning as Danielle Broussard. Uh, who's just a delight in this film. She almost steals the show a few times, you know. <laughs> Not only because she's gorgeous, but because she's very funny. Uh, and has great comic timing. Uh, but, of course, once again, uh, Jessica Roth owns this movie. I mean, she's just absolutely fantastic. Uh, I don't know why I haven't seen this girl in any other movies, really, that I can think of. <laughs> But she needs to start being in more movies. And uh, if it's more horror, then bring it on. Make her a screen queen. I'm all for that. <laughs> um, because she's just fantastic in this movie. Uh, excellent, excellent. Great, one, great comic timing again. And just great emotional depth. Uh, like you just don't see a lot in horror films. Now, is this movie an all-out horror film? I would say... It's a little bit of sci-fi mixed in with horror, mixed in with comedy. Uh, I definitely wouldn't say this is a straight-out horror film, but it does certainly have some horror elements. Of course, when you're dealing with the baby-faced killer, who kind of is more in the background in this movie. He's not as prevalent as he was in the first film. Um, but he is still there. Uh, so... What happens in this film, uh, it starts off with uh, Ryan's character from the original film. And uh, we kind of think that the movie might <laughs> revolve around him at first, in, in the, at the beginning there. Um, because he starts to have the same recurring dream, just like Tree did in the first movie. And like, oh no, it's happening all over again. Um, and we find out that he and his um, fellow student were working on a science project and they came up with this uh, device called the quantum reactor uh, just like manipulates like quantum physics and can actually alter time you know <laughs> put you in a time warp <laughs> um, but yeah um, what happens is uh, the killer starts to go after him. But then once we find the killer, uh, we find out the killer is actually... Spoiler alert! If you have not seen this film yet, spoiler alert. It turns out to be him. But it's like the alternate timeline of him, you know? <laughs> so they have to figure out what the hell is going on. Uh, so they... They try and start up the quantum reactor again and uh, and reverse what happened, you know. But what happens is Tree ends up in the same mess she started in in the original. <laughs> she ends up <laughs> in the same mess with the same recurring dream with the baby face killer killing her every day, basically. <laughs> and she keeps killing herself to get out of it, you know. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. Uh, so she just flips out. It's like, it's all happening all over again. Uh, so she tries to get with Ryan and uh, his buddy there in the science class and try and figure out what the hell's going on with this machine because apparently the machine is what created the whole mess in the first place, including what happened in the original film. Uh, unwittingly so. Uh, they didn't realize what they had created. Uh, and the science teacher tries to pull the plug on. Is like, 
Look, you're taking out electricity all over the city, all over the school, everywhere. We're shutting this project down and we're locking this thing up in my closet, you know. <laughs> and they're like, oh, sh what are we going to do, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this film is definitely a lot like, I'd say, weird science mixed in with Back to the Future Part 2, which of course they reference in the film heavily. <laughs> Much like they did in the original film with Groundhog Day, you know. <laughs> uh, maybe throw in a little real genius in there, you know. <laughs> it's very 80s comedy uh, mixed in with a little bit of horror, a little bit of slasher, uh, and a lot of sci-fi as well. So uh, definitely I think this is a really solid follow-up. I would kind of compare it to, say, Scream 2 where they had pretty much all the major cast from the original film returning. At least the ones that didn't die, you know. <laughs> Even one that did die comes back, you know. Uh, yeah. And uh, I like how uh, once Tree gets it back into the recurring dream that things are a little bit different this time around. I guess something happened with the quantum reactor that made things slightly altered because her mom returns, and her mom was supposed to be dead in the original film, you know. And, uh, and certain parts, people were supposed to be there that aren't, you know. Uh, they definitely alter some of the characters, you know. And, uh, their roles, as opposed to, you know, <laughs> like in this new dream, uh, she doesn't end up with Carter, you know. Uh, her buddy, uh, Danielle Brusen, uh, ends up with him, and she's so funny in this movie. I think she does such a great job. At one point, uh, she's playing a, rehearsing, uh, playing a blind girl in a play for school, and she's so funny. Like, <laughs> uh, she plays a French blind girl, and that really comes into play towards the end. And she does such a great job. So funny, so beautiful, very, very talented. Uh, so, yeah, great cast, you know, like I said, most of the cast returns, and they all do a fantastic job. It's very, very funny. Um, the only thing I would say negative about it is I wish there was more horror in this, you know, uh, like the first one. There was a lot more scares in the first one. This one is not scary at all, I would say, you know. Don't expect to be scared. Don't expect too many thrills and chills, but expect a fun ride. Uh, it's really funny at times, especially when uh, Tree's, you know, killing herself, throwing herself off the roof of the skyscraper, jumping into a meat grinder, you know, taking a dive off of a plane, you know, in, in her bikini. <laughs> Takes a swan dive, it's funny. Uh, yeah, a lot of funny stuff in this movie. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, I wish there was more horror elements. It's not scary at all. Um, but it's a real good time, and I'd say, like I said, I would compare it to, like, Scream 2, a really solid follow-up. Not quite as good as the original, but definitely really solid with a uh, great cast and really fun time. Uh, so that's it, guys. I highly recommend Happy Death Day to you. I give it two devil horns up. And thank you for joining me, Sean Patrick Urshan, in the Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared.